people who get brain injuries, a large portion get epilepsy. And we don't know why and we don't know how to stop it. So one of the things that happens when you have an impact to the brain is blood. Just like you, know, you cut yourself, you get a little bleeding. You hit your head hard, you get bleeding in the brain or around the brain. Now blood is something that causes pain, you know, you feel pain. When it's in the brain, it causes excitability. It causes epileptic discharges. So our study is to focus on the role of blood surrounding the brain and how that changes the brain to produce it to have seizures. And there's a group of patients who come in, we have a very busy intensive care unit of people who bleed around and in their brain. So we're gonna to try to take advantage of big data, artificial intelligence, and take these entire hospital courses of very sick patients, some who develop epilepsy and some that don't, look at every CAT scan, every EEG, turn these into numbers, look at every medicine they take and build a dashboard for hundreds of patients. Then we're gonna go back and say, in this longitudinal data series, what predicts who gets epilepsy and who doesn't? And what should we be doing in those weeks in the ICU to prevent people from getting epilepsy six months, a year later? Now, in parallel with this project in our patients, we do experiments in rats, where we also induce the bleeding around the brain. And then we put little EEGs on our rats, and we record their brain waves for months and watch how they progress to form seizures. And then with the animal studies, we can do further molecular tests, tests on tissue that we can't do in, in people with epilepsy. So we put this all together. And the third part of our project is to look at the, the rat EEGs, look at the human EEGs, and build a, a really cool database that links everything together so we can go back and forth between what we see in the animals and what we see in humans so that if we develop a drug and treat that animal model, it'll actually go back and work in humans. So that's, it's an amazing project. Uh, a lot of my colleagues, um, uh, Dr. Fernando Testai is head of our stroke group as part of this. Uh, Dr. Dilapandi, our, our stroke epidemiologist, is part of this. Uh, we have amazing students, uh, MD-PhD students, working on the models and so forth. And just Kira has, has helped us bring all these really smart people together to, to pioneer this. And once we understand how blood causes epilepsy, we're going to understand how a lot of things cause epilepsy.